Hello again, Pipers. Welcome back to the channel. Talk about pipes, pipe tobacco, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. <laughs> We are back from the campground, all settled back in. Weather is beautiful. Uh, when I got back, I had some tobacco waiting for me in the mailbox. Uh, I had a subscriber, Ron Schleff, suggested this blend to me. And I ordered a couple ounces of it to try it. Um, Waltham Broken Cake from Watch City Cigars. He said it would be the best burly blend I would ever smoke. Mm. So this comes... Big old chunks. You gotta, you gotta rub it out. And when you open up the bag, stick your nose in there. There's definitely Kentucky in this. <laughs> you get a smoky, barbecuey, sweet. You don't pick up a lot of the burly cocoa in the in the bag note, but you pick up some Kentucky and some sweetness from uh, from some Virginias, but you definitely know there's burly in it. Looking at it, stuff almost looks like beef jerky. It smells really good, but yeah, you don't. It don't smell like uh, H. Burley Flake or London Blend or but when you smoke it you get everything you get the earthy nutty burley you get the dark fire Kentucky you get the Virginia sweetness I wouldn't say it's overly complex, but it's it's got quite a bit going on. Will I order more? Absolutely. But it ain't like I'm going to order a pound of this stuff. I'll probably maybe order eight ounces at a time. One kind of on the strong side so it's nothing that I'm going to be smoking like all day every day um I was trying to think of another blend to compare it to but I'm having a little bit of trouble I'd say it's a strong version a, a dark twist for McBaron's. I'd say it's that. Um, but it's good. It's good. It's just stronger, so if I had to compare this with dark twist, I think I would take the dark twist because dark twist is more of a category of an everyday smoke for me. I could smoke it probably every day. I couldn't this... Once I smelled it in the bag, I made sure I ate before I even smoked this. Um, you know, there's definitely going to be a nicotine kick to it. But it is, it's good. Definitely worth ordering. 
Um, it's got something for everybody, really. If you're if you're into your dark fired, you'll like it. If you like your burlies, you'll also like it. And I'm noticing some mid bowl. It kind of mellows out mid bowl, and you start to pick up a little more of the burlies. Um, you get more of the molasses. Uh, <clears throat> You can actually get pick up a little bit of the chocolate too, so it has a lot going on. I'm not going through tobacco reviews with it, but Jim Inks actually gave it four stars, and I wouldn't say he raves about much. I wouldn't say he raved about this, but it's as close to probably raving as. he gets, I would say. It's easy to say he likes it. He gave it four stars. Hmm. It smokes smooth. I mean, uh, not overly hot and it don't bite. So does that basically give you a, an indication that it's quality tobacco? I think so. Hmm. Thanks, buddy. I am enjoying it. Got here a day late or two days late. I'd like to have it. Took it with me camping. Um, so yeah, today's weather, I don't think it hit 80 today. It was like mid seventies. Nice breeze. Still is one. See, I may, I may check out some more. Tobacco's here or there at Watch City Cigar to see what they got. If anybody knows of any other blends there that are popular, go ahead and comment. I'll check them out. This though is definitely a blend I could smoke. Like I could I could grab it every other day, probably at night, evening. I'm starting my evening my evening uh Preferred blends list is growing exponentially, actually. Um, definitely Haunted Bookshop. This, Dark Twist, those three are my top. I would much rather prefer to smoke at night. They'd be a great um, fall. All three would be great fall blends. Cooler weather blends. And I'll definitely, like I said, I'll probably order maybe eight ounces of this just to have for uh, future camping trips in the fall. Um, we will be going camping a lot more often now. The weather's just starting to kind of... You're getting that sense, you know, that the, uh, the summer is... It's basically almost over. And the temperature's going to start changing. Um, the weather's going to start changing. So... Um, I don't know about all you, but with me, um, my smoking preferences are going to start changing. And luckily, I've been finding blends that I will be definitely reaching for. Um as that happens. Another one would be that uh, black truffle, which is the stuff I got in Ann Arbor that is a Frog Morton match, basically. That'll be also be a, an autumn blend. Um, my Rum Flake, 
So I'm pretty much set for fall with tobaccos. <laughs> yeah, I thought I would hop out here on the deck and uh, check this stuff out. See how everyone's doing. They're, they're wonderful Labor Day weekend. I'm sure everybody's having a wonderful weekend. I hope so. Until uh, next time, keep them lit.